This is where the LDL itself binds. A colleague of mine from Perth, Western Australia, had been to Nepal to spend uh, his uh, long service leave. He received a call from Dr. Kaki uh, asking him if he could come and help here at PAHS. Well, he wasn't able to, but he kindly suggested that I might be as I was retiring. I was very glad to follow that up with him. After I graduated, I really didn't know, you know, I didn't want to, I wanted to travel. Uh, I didn't want to jump right into a job in the United States and I had heard about PAWS through the grapevine really. I hope to, when I encounter the students, to be able to give them a clinical perspective. I'm a medically trained and experienced pathologist and uh, I hope to be able to, in discussion with my junior colleagues, uh, help them give perspective to what they're saying. So I, I guess my role will be largely mentoring, but I do hope to have some a, a real contact with the students. Basically hit the ground running as soon as I got here. Uh, started teaching basically the week I got here. So if the temperature uh, I spent a lot of time designing this the, the classes basically and working with the curriculum that was already designed. I got a lot of freedom to design uh, to kind of put in what I thought was interesting into the, into the course material. The thing about the medical school experience is learning how to learn, teaching yourself. And if we can uh, help them see that this is possible and indeed a lot of fun, then I think uh, we will have uh, be prepared them well for their, for their practice. And as far as the students go, um, for the most part, they, they have a pretty good background in the basic sciences. On the other hand, uh, I think a lot of them were, uh, you know, sort of unprepared or overconfident as far as how much they knew, and um, it took a lot of energy to get them to really concentrate, again, on something that they've, they, they've already had in high school, you know what I mean? But here, here basically, they, they've only been to high school before they go to medical school, and in uh, America, we would have gone to college, so we had basically, in a way, four more years of, of science background than, than the kids in Nepal do. I think the, the main benefit of having an association with someone like myself is to uh, acquire some habits about uh, applying the, the basic sciences, which they're now studying, to their clinical problems helping them see why it is helpful to have a good understanding of a subject like biochemistry and physiology, pathology, and uh, helping them see, uh, develop a, a keen uh, awareness that all this can be very, very interesting uh, in the context of the clinical problems that they will encounter in their prof professional lives. These students uh, may be different from most Nepali students. I don't, I don't have any background or prior experience, but they're extremely enthusiastic. They certainly don't hesitate to ask questions or tell you when you're going too fast or when you need to go back over something. And uh, they're certainly not shy. And they're, they're a pleasure to be around. I mean, they, yeah, you know, they're very friendly and very open. So and they're not scared of you at all. Uh, I would say maybe 75%, 80% of the class has, is excellent in English. But for maybe five of the kids, English was a significant barrier uh, and in terms of, I mean, basically all the classes are taught in English and so especially with the international faculty that come, accents can be a problem. So maybe for five, uh, the kids, English was a significant problem. Maybe for five more, it was a little bit of a problem. But for, for the majority of the kids, uh, they're completely fluent in English and um, it was no problem at all. My expectation um, is that I will spend some months here uh, over the next 12 months and um, in that time I uh, hope to uh, develop a, a very good understanding of the whole ethos of this medical school which I've been very encouraged by and uh, I found stimulating and I'm sure is, is the right approach for, for the environment here. I'm. Uh, feeling quite enthusiastic about my contact with the students who will 
seem to me to be uh, very keen about their studies. Overall, it's been an amazing experience. Uh, it's been maybe the, the most salient uh, part of the experience has been how cohesive the faculty and students are in terms of all being on the same wavelength, all, all having really the same goals. I mean, the, the basic science faculty who I work with on a daily basis are really an amazing group of people who uh, really trust each other, mainly because they've, they've been working each other in, uh, working with each other, building pods from the ground up, kind of from day one, along with the administration. And it's really been inspirational. I mean, it's been uh, really just, uh, it, it's really, as soon as I got here, you know, they made me feel welcome. Uh, um, they gave me responsibility. Uh, my biggest worry was that I, you know, was going to come here and have nothing to do, and that, uh, and that wasn't the case at all. I mean, I got to participate. I'm friends with them, um, and so overall, uh, and the students as well. Uh, they're, you know, they're they're very receptive to having me as a teacher. Uh, yeah, I get along with them, and uh, so overall, it's been a great experience.